Uh, Paul from Long Island, New York. Hey, welcome to the Ed Schultz Show. Good afternoon. How are you? Happy Fourth of July. Coming back at you. I will. Uh, I'll give you two reasons. I think that liberals actually cheer for our demise in Iraq. Go and, ahead. Uh, I don't think you'll find that they're off base. One is because liberals have a visceral hatred of George Bush, and they were against the war from the beginning. So to validate their point, they want us to lose because they said don't go in the first place, so it makes them look smart. That's reason number one. Reason number two is I think at the end of the day, a lot of liberals don't like the way that the United States works. It's probably the most or the least progressive country in the free world or in the developed world. Other countries are much more socialized. They have socialized medicine. If you ask a lot of Americans on the left, who do they, you know, look up to more, Barry Goldwater, Ronald Reagan, or uh, Castro, they pick Castro. So at the end of the day, they, they cheer against the United States because they don't really like the United States a lot of times. That's Paul, who's a liberal? <laughs> who's a liberal? Who's a liberal? Define me? it for me. Define me? it for me. Yeah, for you. Who's a liberal? Define it. Somebody who believes that government is a solution to your problems. Somebody who thinks that the uh, government can solve problems better than private industry. So, for instance, I believe that privatizing Social Security would have been a great thing because I'd rather have control of my own money. Hey, Paul, do you believe in the Securities and Exchange Commission? Uh, I'm actually in the securities industry. I think they're rather weak. Um, I think they go after the wrong things. But uh, Do you think we should have a Securities and Exchange Commission? Actually, if it was up to me... No. Um, the answer is no. You would get rid of the no, Securities no, no. and Exchange look, Commission, look, look, and we'd have another collapse of Wall Street. No, hey, no, Paul, you, why are... No, no, hang on, hang on. I gave you plenty of time. I'm going to give you some more. But, Paul... You give me the wrong question. No, I'm giving you the right question. Do you believe in Social Security? Uh, in, its current, in its current form, no. Do you believe in Medicare and Medicaid? Uh, I believe it's a total waste of money. Do you believe in unemployment insurance? Uh, again, I, I have problems with that as well. I'd rather see it solved on a private basis than a government basis. Paul, if we didn't have any of those things, we'd be in the same depression right now that we were in in 1930. And the reason we're not in such good. a depression now is because the government stepped in. It's 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 you Republican right-wingers who love the free market. And it's the free market that rapes and pillages. And then when everything goes Martin, down Martin. the freaking toilet, Paul, you Martin. spoke, now I'm speaking. It's because, it's because, it's because of Franklin Roosevelt he saved your rear end. This country was on the brink of complete chaos, and Franklin Roosevelt stepped in, and you still hate him for it. This country mm -hmm. is is where it is because of Social Security and unemployment insurance and Medicare and Medicaid. It's because we don't have old people falling down in the street dying without any kind of care. This country was saved by the Democrats, and you right-wingers never learned your lesson. The free market will rape and pillage and destroy. It needs to be regulated to keep the markets clean so that they can function correctly. Paul, I got to run. Thanks for your call. Please join us on the web at wegoted.com and state your message on the message board. We're right back. I'm Norman Goldman. Boy, am I hot. Where else on the radio dial is there a left side lawyer who gives great legal analysis and pinch hits for the boss? We can't think of anywhere else. There's only one, and we got him. You're listening to The Ed Schultz Show.